So in this module, I'll talk about how to generate the leads. Now remember one thing that uh, you have that perfect domain name, you have that perfect website and people are visiting your website, you are getting the traffic, but you have to convert that traffic into a lead. I'll explain what a lead is and then you have to convert that lead into a customer. So how do you generate the leads? That is the key over here. Now remember one thing, now people would say, for example, of course visitors translate into customers. Visitors translate into customers, okay. Now remember one thing, that not all the visitors may be the customers. Now somebody can say that, uh, say for example, that I have, uh, that person gets a million visitors in a year or more than a million visitors in a year. Now the question is that what those million visitors result into? Because if those million visitors do not result into putting food on your table or getting the money to pay for the education of your children, then those million visitors are good for bragging right, but they are not practically very useful. Of course, there are, there are other aspects also, which is uh, monetization, which I'll very briefly touch upon, where the visitors count, but that's a very different thing. But I'll talk about it so that you know about it. So you have to convert your visitors into a lead and a lead into a customer. So what is a lead? Say for example, uh, visitors come to my website, I have done all that social marketing thing, I have done all the social contents and the contacts and I have written on, on the blogs and joined all the communities and the traffic comes to me. Now if the visitors do not sign up a form, do not give their name, do not give their email address, I don't have a lead. How do I follow them? How do I get back to them? I don't have a lead. When I don't have a lead, I don't have a customer. So I need to get a lead. So prospect to lead, convert the prospect into a lead. Then lead to customer. Now once I have the lead, once the customer, once the potential customer, the lead has signed their registration form, given his or her email address, the name and the phone number, then when I have a sale, when I am offering something, I can send them a message. I can send them an email. I can send them a link. I can send them a document. I can do many things. But first I should have the lead. And that lead then converts into a customer. Visitor monetization is in the context of YouTube. Because for YouTube to get, uh, to get paid uh, when people are watching your videos, you should have like 1000 uh, subscribers and much more than the visitors and 4000 hours are viewing. Then you get paid. Which is you are not selling, you are just getting traffic. But there is a different thing I just uh, share with, with you. Now collect email addresses. Why? Because as of today, 306.4 billion emails are exchanged daily basis. So it means that email is not going to go anywhere. Email is going to stay for a while. So collect email addresses. How do you collect the email addresses? Uh, include a contact form which I have already told you. Add a sign up form. Uh, you, you go to uh, many many tools are there, widgets are there, facilities are there to add that sign up form, to add that contact form to your web page, to your website include an email out box and why now remember one thing I gave you the example of parktuitions.com that you have to offer something to the people in reality in reality honestly then they will give you become your lead I gave you the example that uh, some people are looking for something which is not available but when it becomes available you send them a notification like a job people register for a job and when you have you're a job site and when you have a job which meets, meets and matches their credentials, you send them an email, automatic email. 
so uh, reach out email is very cost effective it doesn't uh, cost a lot of money right and goodness of email it is easy to add up easy to add up easy to store in a database and easy to generate messages using uh, pulling email addresses from the database in a social media campaign you are sending targeting e e emails on a campaign create interest groups create interest groups it means that based upon the emails based upon your customers you create a group of customers so you have this group one over here you have this group two over here group three over here these are your customers and depending upon your groups interest groups you are sending them selective emails you so you have your group of leads also so what are the uh, best practices for email target registered visitors don't send spam never send spam don't send spam send email to those people who are your registered customers you might be able to get email addresses from other uh, places which i am not discussing over here but don't send them emails because they are not your registered customers follow a schedule try sending email on different days of the week at different times of the day and look at the response you're getting and you will know what is the best day what is the best time and stick to that schedule send requested matter if people have registered for a job don't send them plumbing information don't send the information about recipes you are sure to lose customers avoid spam that i've already told you give reading options uh, although uh, computers have proliferated a lot but mobile phones they have a very high uh, acceptance rate so your message your email should fit on a computer screen and also on a mobile phone also and it should be able to serve both type of customers put your name on every mail your your name should be there your contact number should be there your phone number and your email address everything should be there your url should be there your wonderful url should be there on every email message and don't stop keep building that email list keep on adding to it it's an ongoing process right so you have to fuel that email list you have to uh, enhance that email list and you have to send emails not spam and you need to convert your leads into your customers because your customers will result into sales and put food on your table put tuition money for your university education for your parents for yourself for your family that's all i have to say in this module thank you for your time